How to Write Half Equations for the Formation of Cations by kscience.com In this video, we're going to go through how to write half equations for the formation of cations. Lithium has a mass number of 7 and an atomic number of 3, so it has 3 protons, 3 electrons and 4 neutrons. Therefore, a lithium atom has 2 electrons on its first shell and 1 electron on its outer shell. This atom is not stable as it does not have a full outer shell of electrons. So it loses this outer electron. So it is now stable as its outer shell has two electrons. We draw the square brackets and the positive sign to show this cation has a charge of one plus. And then we write plus E minus to show how this electron has been lost. We can write a half equation to show how this lithium atom has formed a lithium cation. I write Li to represent the lithium atom, an arrow to show something has happened, Li plus to represent the lithium cation, plus E minus to represent the lost electron. Now half equations specifically shows what is happening to the atom or ion in the reaction. The half equation shows is the atom or ion losing electrons or gaining electrons. There are rules to writing half equations, which we're going to go through first and link to how this lithium atom has lost an electron to become a lithium cation. The first rule is the half equation must have the same elements on both sides. In this half equation, we can see there is a lithium atom on the left and a lithium cation on the right. So, so far, this half equation is correct. The next rule, the half equation must have the same number of atoms on both sides. We can see how there's one lithium atom on the left, so we write a one here, and there's one lithium cation on the right, so we write a one here. The equation is balanced. The final rule, the half equation must have the same charge on both sides. To check the charge, we write charge just here. The charge of a lithium atom is zero. Atoms always have a neutral charge. So we write zero. And then over here, we write charge as well. The charge of a lithium cation is plus one. And the charge of one electron is one minus. So one plus and one minus equals zero. The overall charge on the right is zero. So this is balanced. The charges are balanced in this half equation. Whenever writing half equations, as long as you apply these three simple rules, you'll do just fine. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Beryllium is a metal which has a mass number of 9 and an atomic number of 4. This means it has 4 protons, 4 electrons and 5 neutrons. Beryllium's electronic configuration shows it has 2 electrons in its first shell and 2 in its outer shell. Beryllium is in group 2 as it has 2 electrons in its outer shell. The beryllium atom is not stable as it does not have a full outer shell of electrons. So it loses two electrons to become a beryllium cation, which has a charge of two plus. I'm writing plus two electrons, as these are the two electrons which have been lost. The beryllium atom has lost two electrons. We can show how the beryllium atom has become a beryllium cation using a half equation and refer to the rules if you need to. So pause the video and go back to the beginning if you cannot remember the rules. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
To write the half equation, we write BE to represent the atom, an arrow to show something has happened, BE2 plus is the beryllium cation, plus E minus the electron, and then a big two to show two electrons have been lost. Using the rules, we can see there is a beryllium atom on the left and a beryllium cation on the right. Using the second rule, we can see there is one beryllium atom on the left and one beryllium cation on the right. The beryllium atom on the left has a charge of zero and then the beryllium cation has a charge of two plus. The two electrons have a charge of two minus. So two plus and two minus equals a charge of zero. The charge is balanced on both sides. Pause the video here to see if you can use this information about aluminium to write a half equation for when an aluminium atom forms an aluminium cation. The half equation shows how the aluminium atom has lost three electrons to become an aluminium cation with a charge of three plus. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.